Here's another stair building book, and uh, it is one that uh, I think will be quite helpful to a lot of professionals as well as do-it-yourselfers. I actually wrote it as a companion guide for some of the other books, and I am going to try and put a few book packages together at our website, uh, homebuildingandrepairs.com to uh, give you guys and gals some better deals. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. The book is called Stair Stringer Layout and Builder's Field Guide. And it is basically a book that is going to show you how to lay out the stair stringer. And I'm going to try and make some videos for this also. But uh, basically, it's going to give you a illustration of the stairway and the kind of a title of what we're doing. And I'm not going to, you're going to have to, let's go back. You're going to have to go back to, these are all going to be categorized into different areas. Um, bottom connections, top connections, mid landing connections bottom landing connections, uh, top landing connections, and then of course a general idea of how you can attach the stringers to the other parts of the building, let's say. So let's take a look at this one here. This one basically be in the bottom stair stringer area. You're going to have a view of the stairway, possibly a close-up, a side view, and uh, a, a stringer layout measurements. And again, your measurements are going to be different. So we're going to be using a certain, I believe, I don't think I changed the size throughout the whole book, standard uh, seven and a half through 11. And then this would show you, uh, give you a general idea of how you would lay out the stair stringer before cutting it, the bottom section. Here's one on the top section again. Um, extended stringer to joist over wall and um, so we're going to take the stringer and make it part of the landing and again these are the reason why I called it a field guide book was to give you uh, a bunch of different examples of possible stair connections for your particular project and I threw everything I could possibly think of in this book so again a side view um, stringer measurements and uh, of course this is one two three four to give you an idea I'm not showing I'm not throwing the 11 and uh, or the ten and a half inch tread and the seven and a half inch riser in here because we are extending this one here so and then the top measurement there and I'm also providing some of the examples are going to have uh, additional information as I feel necessary so here's one, um, not enough center stringer support. Uh, you're going to have uh, problems if you do something like this. Um, the stair stringer won't be fully supported and could actually crack here. Bottom landing connections. If you're going to build a stairway with a bottom landing, this provides you with one idea of how you can um, build this particular stairway here and again gives you a pretty good uh, gives you nice examples i like pictures and pictures seem to uh, be a universal language for people who who purchase these books from uh, other parts of the world how to attach the stringers this is the last part of the book this here gives you a general idea how to use shots and pins and a um, I want to say a it's I think it's called a pneumatic fastener but uh, I'm not sure it is you can actually fasten these with a kind of like a little bullet cartridge you load it into a tool and you shoot it into the ground there are a variety of different ones you don't have to spend a lot of money on something like this either and this is attaching to concrete over here is what we would be using if we were going to attach it to wood and you can see the nail sticking through here and uh, adding a filler board this is another example this is uh, in the back of the book I have a bunch of examples on a few ideas a few things you can do um, using the framing square to mark off different sections so that they'll line up with certain sized um, floor joist or landing joist 
if you're going to use a beam, then um, you might have the stair stringer sticking down a little bit. If that's the case, you can always use a filler board. So got a, got a few of those things in there. And the end of the book there, this is a stair stringer layout and builder's field guide. Here's the website. Um, don't forget to visit the website. I am going to put some book packages together to give you a... Um, give you a few more options so I think that the book like this one here is going to work good with other stair building books the um, how to build and frame stairs if you're looking for a straight stairway this one's going to provide you with a little more information or a few more examples like I said for laying out the stair stringers that might not be found in a few of these other books so definitely think it's going to be helpful check it out and um, don't forget to check out like I said some of our other book packages as well